uh, Glenn Carl, one of the most um, uh, important aspects of, of the actual fighting has been the loss of Russian military commanders. The fact that even now a very senior Russian military commander, a general, has been killed in the fighting over here. Uh, and the fact that the, 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 it's, it's a disproportionate number of very senior commanders that they're losing, uh, is that something which has stifled their war effort? Well, we've heard that the uh, Ukrainian military has a special uh, unit uh, dedicated to targeting senior uh, Russian officers. And uh, we also are hearing that uh, the West, the United States in particular, uh, have been providing a significant intelligence support that the Russians have struggled to establish, maintain, uh, run uh, secure communication uh, both shocking on their side and testament to the successes of Western intelligence, I think. Um, and then the, the structure of the Russian military. It's very top-heavy and traditional. It's, it's a classic thing back to the Romans, the Roman military, and I'm not making a joke, was successful to a large extent because they're non-commissioned officers, lower level officers, highly trained and given freedom of initiative. Right. And that's the, progressively the case in the Ukrainian military and not in the Russian military. So when you chop off the head, um, the, um, it, the feet don't really know where to go. And this is a, a, a systemic problem for the Russian military.